Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and I recently passed my MS-900 exam. Uh, all of this is just a bunch of materials that I gathered to help me pass and prepare for the exam. Um, I thought, why not share it with people on the internet, because that's what you do. And um, hopefully I get through this quick and very easy. So I'm going to get started here. Um, so on the agenda today, we have a couple things. So I'm going to go through the exam skills outline, which is provided by Microsoft, my recommended study resources, the estimated timeline, and where to take the exam and the cost. So let's get the ball rolling, right? So this is the exam skills outline. This is a little snippet, this little screenshot of the full syllabus that they provide for you on the website. There's a link. Um, where is it? Over, over there in the corner and then below. Um, I'll have it posted. Um, whether you're in the slide deck, you can click it or below, whatever you want to do. There's 40 questions, drop and drag, multiple choice, yes and no. It's a 60 minute exam. I'm sure you'll finish a little earlier. Um, they have this cool feature for people who do. You could re click review and at the end of your exam, you go back to those questions and you get to retake them. Um, it doesn't tell you if they're wrong or not, but it's like marking it when you're going through and you just go back, whatever. I explained that terribly, but you'll figure it out. There's four total concepts. So there's cloud concepts. This is infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. If you're familiar with this type of technology, you should be fine. That's why it's only 10 to 15%. I found it easy. Others may not study up. Um, Core Microsoft features, that's just Exchange, SharePoint, Outlook, uh, Teams, Stream, whatever it might be. Um, I found that pretty easy because I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. If you don't, I would recommend looking into it, You know, maybe doing a trial account. That might be going a little overboard, but definitely study up. Um, the next one would be security, compliance, privacy, and trust. This is just like Azure Ag Active Directory and uh, Active Directory and security pillars. Um, there's only so much you could learn on those, but they they actually provide what you need to know, like what exact um, security protocols and like compliance things inside this syllabus. So scroll down to the bottom if you're on it and it'll show you exact things. It's like in a chart or table, um, but certain things that are gonna be on it because they update it all the time. This one's updated from July 8th but they might, they probably do it every year or six months. So new things will be on it. And lastly, the last concept is pricing and support. I found this to be the hardest part because I didn't care about the licensing options when I was studying. Um, if you're in sales, definitely, definitely good to know. Don't know why you'd be taking this exam for sales. Maybe it's good. I'm not really sure. But uh, it's just the pricing differences. Like some, like between E3 and E5, uh, so like a question will be giving you a scenario of a client or a, you know, sales, you're in sales, whatever. I don't even know. It'll tell you what their situation is and what they need. And you have to give them the best licensing option. Um, maybe if they want low cost or high cost, it needs to have this feature or not this feature, blah, 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 mix and match. However, however it is. So there's a ton of different options. I definitely recommend looking into that. Also, a disclaimer, they changed the name of a lot of the licensing options like a couple months ago. So I would definitely make sure you know the difference. Um, I don't even know what the old ones were, but I know a lot of my coworkers did, and it really confused them. So definitely look into that and make sure you study the right stuff. And finally, pass with a minimum of 700. So it's 28 out of 40. I don't know if it's partial credit on some questions. So there's not a lot of room for slack. So make sure that you know the material, or at least know the answers to the questions, which I'll get to later on. I'll, I'll show examples and where to find mock questions. So my recommended study resources, this is John Seville, great dude. I found him looking for this exam actually, and now subscribe to him and whenever he comes out with content, I, I read up on it or I watch it if it's uh, something that I'm gonna take in the future, like a certification. Um, but it's great, it's optional. Basically, he gets a full whiteboard out and draws out every concept and then connects everything and shows how they relate to each other. Um, very great resource. Shout out, John. I watched it before 
preparing and actually doing studying, so it kind of mapped everything out, and then I was able to understand it more in depth later on. Um, some people might want to watch it at the end, it's a little cap off. Or some people might not study at all and try to cram using this. You're definitely, you're probably not going to pass if you do. It's only like an hour and a half long, but I don't recommend doing that. But if you if you do make it, you know, good for you. You got a photo, like genetic, I don't know, brain. You're a smart person. You should need me watching my video. You're probably gonna watch his first. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna move on now. Shout out John. Not now, John. Um, the next one, the learning modules. This is provided by Microsoft. These are the most important things. This is the meat to the bones. This is like a textbook, essentially. It's actually like studying up and like reading word for word and like flipping pages almost. There's four total learning paths with 23 modules. So as you can see in the screenshot, there's five, five, eight, and five, right? Um, each one's probably about two hours. It's about eight hours long. I'm going to warn you, there's a there's questions or knowledge checks at the end of each module none of those are on the exam not even relevant they're too easy um, I made the mistake in the past of only studying those for an exam did not pass I was close because I was obviously reading the learning path but the mock questions I'm going to show you in the slide next are what you like what I was missing um, a link to this is a uh, in the corner again and down below You'll figure it out if you're a smart guy, which you probably are, or a woman. Um, the next one, recommended study resources. The mock exam questions. So I use examtopics.com. I paid for their services. It's only about 15 bucks if you get the discount, which there's always a discount. Uh, for this exam, they offer 146 questions, but the first 90 are free. So they have a ton of different other exams with the exact questions on the exam that I definitely recommend this because this question right here was on my test um, most of them are similar like this if you kind of see what I was talking about they give you a little scenario um, and you have to mix and match but each are different this is only the first of many um, definitely check them out there I know there's one other one or two other websites that you could use probably Quizlet it's a little confusing to me with the way that they set it up I don't think you pass this exam using flashcards, but if that's how you study, it's how you study. This is how I did it. Um, the discussion button is awesome because there's always people talking in it. It's, I think, like every other week, every couple weeks, more people post in it. So people are taking this exam constantly, which means this is all up to date. Um, if there's ever not a screenshot on some of the questions, you could either copy and paste the question into Google or look in the discussion and it'll tell you the question and the answer. So you'll be all good to go, I promise it's worth it. It's only 15 bucks, you should be fine. Um, the exam costs more, so it's a great investment for, for the future as well. Uh, I'm gonna move on now. Estimated timeline. Overall video is about an hour and a half for John's little section, which is also optional, but if you wanna go through the whole thing, this is how long it'll take. Learning paths are eight hours, depending on whether or not you take notes and study and you know if you want to take breaks blah 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 Microsoft said it was eight hours I definitely took more time than that to actually read through the material um, the learning paths are important because like if you want to understand it and apply it to your job that's where you get the bulk of your info mock questions hour or two three hours whatever it may be um, everyone's different definitely most important part if you want to forget about everything I said before and just pass the exam without knowing it mock questions are the way to go um, finally you take the exam it's an hour could be less whatever so I have like a, a middle ground of 11 to 12 hours um, don't recommend doing this in one or two days I you should definitely space it out maybe two weeks three weeks you know however you like to study and what you have the time to do or the brain capacity I don't know, um, but you should be fine. You know, you should be good. Next one. Where to take the exam and the cost for non-students? Pearson View. Uh, I have a link right there. It will also be down below. You need to have a Microsoft account. If you don't, you can create an Outlook email. It's free. It's easy, and you know, you never have to use it again if you don't want. I do think that having a Microsoft account is cool because when you're doing the learning paths. And if you have an account, 
it tracks all that information and it like gives you a badge at the end. So if you read, do them all, you get a badge and you could put it on your LinkedIn profile or your resume. Um, so even if you don't pass the exam, which you will, um, those badges are helpful. And those websites, the learning pass you'll use forever if you're a Microsoft consultant or whatever you do to need this exam. For students, Certiport. Don't know why they have two separate parts. If you're a student, you could probably use Pearson View, but I've never used this before. But it's maybe you get a discount. I don't know. Maybe if you're if you're in school and you're working, check out Certiport. Maybe it'll be cheaper. I don't know. But the exam cost on Pearson View at least is ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So maybe you can get that discounted, right? Unless your work pays for it. Ask for your work to pay for it if they can. That's what I did. Um, and good luck. Um, please like and subscribe or comment, whatever you want to do. Share this video if you can. Um, I'm probably going to try to make more as I take the exams, as I go in my career. I'm taking the PL900, which is Power Platform, in a couple weeks. So hopefully that's out in like two, two three months, whatever it is. Um, hopefully I pass. But good luck to you. Let me know how you do. Any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, good luck everyone.